G'day everyone, uh, my name is Alexander Blythe, or as most people here know me, Albie. Uh, and today I'm really excited to be coming to you to talk about how to hackathon. Now, I am very passionate about hackathons and I love to go and do as many as I can. Unfortunately, this year has not been kind to many of us, uh, COVID, as we all know. Uh, but that's not going to stop us here at UQCS from powering on and making sure that our hackathon still runs. Um, so hopefully everyone's got their tickets. Uh, everyone here is ready to learn how to hackathon. Um, so, my first question I want to address is, what is a hackathon? Uh, when I first heard of this uh, studying software engineering here at UQ, I thought that we'd all sit in a quiet little dusty room, um, open up our computers and try and hack into the CIA or something stupid. That's absolutely not what it's about. Instead, what we're doing with a hackathon is hacking together a project. Um, you'll be doing it in a team. Normally uh, it's around five people, but the teams can be any size that you really want. You probably don't want too many people. And we'll talk about making a team a bit in uh, the future. Uh, and what you want to be doing is creating a cool project. It can be anything you want, and it really depends on the type of hackathon as well. Some hackathons will have a uh, team, sorry, um, They'll have themes, and you'll have to hack around a theme. So it might be uh, a type of um, color, for example, or an idea. And there's lots of cool things that you can find out there. At the UQCS Hackathon, there's no theme, and you're free to do whatever the heck you want and create any kind of cool project. As well as uh, creating something cool over a weekend, uh, there's lots of food, uh, prizes, fun to be had, um, and you definitely learn a lot from just two days. Um, I've heard some people say that they've learned more just from doing a hackathon than uh, they've learned in the whole entire semester beforehand. So I want to move on and talk about one of the biggest parts of a hackathon, and that's the time constraint. Normally it runs over just a weekend, 48 hours. Um, that isn't a lot of time. And you have to be smart and uh, carefully plan out what you do to make sure you can fit in as much as you can to try and create the coolest project possible in the weekend that you've got. Now, it normally depends on the hackathon as well. Uh, some hackathons will go for a week. That's way too long for me. I like to burn out in 48 hours and call it a day. Um, and that's what we do here at UQCS at our hackathon. So I've uh, done plenty of hackathons in the past. Um, last year I competed in the UQCS Hackathon and we made a game. Uh, it's called Moon Rises and we won the best design for it. Um, and I'll show you a bit of that now. So this is the Moon Rises game. Uh, we actually did continue working on it after the Hackathon as well. Um, and we created a cool couch co-op uh, game where you build and create uh, your way up to the moon. Um, you can have up to four people and each person's got a different color and different types of blocks that you can use to try and build your way up. And that was a lot of fun. I did it with two other people um, and it was really difficult to get it done over the weekend, uh, but we managed to create something really cool. Now, the other hackathon I want to mention that I've done is the GovHack. This was my first one. I did it in 2018. We had a relatively large team um, with some really smart people, and I went into this having never touched Unity or VR before, uh, and now I own a VR headset. I love that thing. Um, but here what we made, as you can see, is uh, we created a VR app um, that ran on a smartphone, uh, used the Google Daydream, and used uh, Google Street View along with the bomb data to be able to simulate um, data in your VR headset. And it was really cool, you can see uh, we've got the simulated wind running through, we've also got the clouds up in the sky, which some people smarter than me did with some shaders. Um, and what I did here was the UI. I, um, out of nothing, over a course of a weekend, uh, made that UI there in VR, which was sick. And that's one of the best things about coming to a hackathon. You don't have to know uh, a lot of skills before you start. You don't even have to be a good programmer. You might not even know how to program because hackathons are for beginners. 
Now, I've been one to suffer from imposter syndrome. I've rocked up to uh, an event and I felt like I do not belong here at all. I felt like um, I'm not good enough. But when it comes to a hackathon, that's not at all the case. Everyone who's participating, everyone who's competing is a student just like you. And you're gonna learn a lot through a weekend and you're gonna learn potentially more than what some of the courses that you could, UQ could even teach you. So you don't have to be a pro going in and you're gonna be surrounded by experienced programmers, people who have a lot to uh, teach you, people who have a lot to offer as well. Um, and you should never be afraid to ask questions. If you don't know what to, to do or how to solve a particular problem, just ask someone. There's so many people around, I'll be there as well. Um, so feel free to come up to anyone, ask them a question, um, and I'm absolutely sure they would be more than happy to try and help you out. Everyone there is, to have a, is there to have a good time, uh, not to stress and uh, worry about um, their amazing ideas. I mean, a little bit, but we'll talk about our ideas in a bit. So, one of the most important parts of the hackathon is a team. These are the guys you're going to be stuck with for 48 hours working on an awesome project with. And these teams you can make from anyone, really. It could be people that you've met in classes. It could be people that you've met there on the day. And I know uh, on the UQCS website, there is a link there for a Google form to submit your ideas to try and find other people uh, to work on ideas with. So, um, your, your team can be formed around ideas as well. If you've got a cool idea and you really want to make it, you can try and find a team around that. You can tell other people who are going to the hackathon, hey, I really want to make a robot um, that automatically generates hackathon ideas. Some people might love that, some people might not, and you can form a team around that. Another way you can do it is look around for ideas that other people have that are interesting. If someone says, hey, I want to make a new social media and you think that's great, absolutely jump on in their team as long as they're okay with it. Um, and that's how I like to form teams around ideas. But if you just want to make a team with some friends, find a cool idea that you're all interested in, um, absolutely go ahead, go for it. So with the every hackathon, there are rules. Um, don't go and break them. <laughs> um, so, uh, it depends on which hackathon you're going for. Sometimes, you know, like if there's a theme, you have to make sure your idea fits in with the theme, or if there's a particular set of data or an API that you have to use, then you have to use that as well. Um, like I mentioned earlier, at the UQCS hackathon, um, there is no limit to what ideas you can come up with. The main rules are, so first of all, you have to have a form of version control. If you haven't heard of Git before, Git is your best friend. Um, try and play around with Git before you rock up to the hackathon. Uh, it'll make your life a little bit easier, um, not only just in a hackathon, but just in general. I use it for everything I do, my assignments, my work. It's an amazing tool. Um, love it. Second thing, projects can't be started early. They have to start during the hackathon. You can't upload something to your repository before it's started. Uh, everything that comes out of it has to be made over that weekend alone. And the third one is that the prize winners have to be uploaded to the UQCS showcase. Um, and finally, um, because we want to make it even, only students are eligible for prizes. So you old folks out there who already have your degrees, I'm sorry, um, you can't win any prizes in this hackathon. Okay. So next, uh, if you've got a team or you want to come up with an idea to form a team around, that can be pretty difficult um, to find an idea. Um, normally, I won't have an idea going into the hackathon. It's really difficult uh, to think of something cool and get people on board with, and it's okay to not have an idea. If you find someone else who has a cool idea and you want to work with them, that's awesome as well. But the cool thing about coming up with an idea is that it can be anything. If you've got that one thing in the back of your mind that you've been uh, thinking about creating for years, this is the time to make it. You've got 48 hours, you've got a team of people that you can work with together to make something awesome. So 
if you do have a team and you're looking for an idea, get together, jump on a call, dis uh, brainstorm with them, and create something that makes you excited. Remember, this is something you're going to be working on all weekend. If you're not excited about it, then it might be uh, time to change to create a new idea, something that really makes you excited. So it can be really anything. You can make a game, you can make a website, social media, a mobile app, a robot. There's even prizes in uh, hardware topics. Um, and we'll talk about that in a bit as well. So here I've uh, compiled a list of free project ideas. You can steal these, go for it, um, that I've made. So first one, text-to-speech animal kingdom version. Um, you type in a message and it comes out like lion roars or duck quacks. Um, that would be very interesting, very difficult. I'd love to see someone try that. Um, this one's a bit of a hardware one. Autonomous beer delivery via a remote control car. Um, you know, when you're hacking away, trying to create something, how awesome would it be for something just to roll on in and give you a nice quick drink? <laughs> so hack a share a new social media platform to share your hackathon project ideas because they're hard to come up with. <laughs> Next one, a Twitter bot that tweets every time you wake up each day. That would be pretty fun, pretty interesting. You could have a programming aspect to it, pulling some web APIs, the Twitter ones here, um, and also, yeah, the hardware aspect. How can you detect when you're awake? That's something interesting to think about. The next one, um, something for your programmers out there. A dating app that matches people based on their preferred keyboard switches. I have some friends who love particular types of keyboard switches and will swear by it. I'm much more of a clicky guy myself. <laughs> something fun. Um, one of my favorite things, VR app to simulate participating in a hackathon from quarantine. Um, simulate all your friends there hacking away. That would be really cool. So, hopefully that's inspired you to come up with some ideas. Now, the next thing I want to mention is that during this hackathon, because we have our COVID restrictions, not everyone can come along and be there in person. And that's absolutely fine. Working from home is going to be a bit more difficult then. Um, things I want to mention is to make sure you take care of yourself. If you're really busy hacking away, uh, make sure you uh, think about food beforehand. Um, you don't want to be caught out having worked the entire day and then realize afterwards that you forgot to eat lunch or something like that. Um, it can also be quite lonely to just be sitting away at your computer all day. So it'd be a lot of fun to jump on a Discord call with your other friends who are hacking away from their homes or maybe even in person and get the communication going. Um, communication is one of those things that is hard to simulate when you're working from home. Um, that you don't quite get when you're hacking away in person together. So, you've got your team, you've got your idea, you've worked on it, um, and now it's time to present your ideas. Now, for people who are new to hackathons, people who haven't had a lot of time um, to work up their confidence in presenting or they're not totally uh, confident in their ideas, you should not feel worried or scared at all about presenting. Like I mentioned earlier, everyone there is in the same position as you. We're all students, we're all here just to have fun. We just want to uh, create something cool and you should absolutely be proud of what you've made at the end of the weekend. So go ahead, present it, be proud of what you made um, and show it off. Um, and if you don't present, then <laughs> I guess you're also not eligible for any prizes. Cool. So, that leads me on to our next point, prizes. Uh, another thing that varies between different hackathons, um, you'll be glad to know at the UQCS hackathon, there are a lot of different prizes that we can uh, offer you. So, $1,000, we'll get it out of the way, the best overall project. So the creators of the best project, you know, as determined by our judges, uh, get a whopping $1,000. Um, and on top of that, you also get bragging rights. Following that, the runner-up gets a $500 prize. Um, and one of my favorite prizes, uh, this next one here, the best newcomer project. So this is $200 for 
for a team that consists of entirely people who are only in their first or second semester of university, uh, in any degree that is. So you will be surprised with what you can do, even with people who haven't been studying that long, you can create a lot of awesome things, um, whip out those CSSE 1001 skills that you've been uh, holding in all semester, uh, and create something cool. Uh, the next prize is the People's Choice Award. Award. So after our presentations on Sunday, um, everyone will get to vote on what they think was the best prize. Because we always know the judges, they're not always right, and the people uh, have this final say with this uh, award here. So, um, the next one is the best, and I am really bad at pronouncing big and scary words, um, philanthropic project. So this is a prize that's dedicated towards um, social justice issues or helping a non-profit organization, for example, and creating something cool. Um, it might not make you money, but it might win you a prize. Uh, the next one is the best design project, the one that we won with Moonrisers. Um, think creative, think about how you can come up with something cool. Uh, when we created Moonrisers, we put in a lot of effort uh, into creating cool looking assets. We even created the music on that weekend. One of our guys, Liam, rocked up with a mini keyboard and synthesized some cool sounds for it. Uh, the next one is the most, another big word that I'm scared to pronounce, Mako, ma <laughs> Masochistic. <laughs> Masochistic. I'm, I, I am a word of, I'm a man of few words for sure. So this is the project that caused the most pain for the team. Um, so you might have caused yourself a lot of pain, but you can also walk away with a hundred buckaroonies for it. And the next one, as I mentioned earlier, the best hardware prize. So this is something that's not just in software. We are the computing society here, um, but it's really awesome when someone creates something in hardware, a robot, and it's been done in the past as, as well, and we've had some cool projects here at UQCS. Um, it is in the name though, it is hard. So that's why we provide this prize here for those guys there. And the last one there is the best interdisciplinary uh, project. So that's a project um, between different fields. So it's not just uh, computing here, we could have people uh, in science, maths, maybe even humanities. Um, if you do something cool like that, you'll be eligible for that prize there. Cool. So one other thing that I want to mention is taking care of yourself. So uh, it's a bit of a stressful environment over the weekend uh, and you can do a lot of harm to yourself if you don't sleep or take care of yourself and make sure to eat. So throughout your hacking, make sure you're eating you're drinking water, and you're having a lot of fun. Okay, I think this is the last thing. Don't forget to buy some tickets. Um, there's still a few left for in-person, I think 15 in-person tickets. Um, if you can't snag an in-person ticket, you've also got the online tickets, uh, and you can participate from home. Cool. Happy hacking, good luck, and have fun. And last thing as well I'd like to credit all the people that I took those icons from. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you very much, Albie, for sharing those tips. And, oh, I've got, sorry, I'm never in the frame. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for sharing your tips. Uh, and where, are, you, are you participating this year? Uh, well, I uh, I was just really buying the ticket for the food, actually. I mean, that's that's fair. The food is going to be pretty pretty tight. Um, yeah, uh, thank you very much for presenting today. Uh, thank you for hosting me. I'm going to be drinking a lot of coffee out of this mug. You'll see my new Facebook profile picture. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. We've, we've got something special organized for coffee uh, over the weekend. Um, yeah, please join us. If you haven't got tickets, grab those. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you at 5 o'clock on Friday in the Advanced Engineering Building for teams. Um, and Yeah, forming teams. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, see you next time. Thank you, everyone.